Hey content creators, welcome to One Man Video. I'm thrilled to be with you today. Now I wanna to talk to you today about the issue you might have seen if you were using the Blackmagic Design Television Studio HD and you're seeing audio video sync issues. I ran into this exact same thing as a part of my studio build out, which I have a whole video playlist you can go see about the studio build out and all the work that we did. But let me explain to you about this issue and what solved it for me. So let me give you a quick overview of what I'm doing here. I have two Panasonic GH4 cameras that I'm taking the HDMI outputs of those cameras and they're going into my television studio HD ATEM switcher. In addition, I've got separate microphones like I'm wearing a Sennheiser lav microphone right now that's wireless that goes into a mixer and then that goes into my ATEM unit through the XLR inputs on the back. Now, here's the problem I ran into. The audio is getting to the ATEM switcher about five frames early, more so than my video, and that is extremely noticeable. So I needed to figure out a way to actually solve this, and I thought at first, hey, the problem is with the ATEM switcher. So I went through and I did a lot of work, I learned more about the ATEM switcher, and the way that the ATEM is designed, you actually can't have these kind of issues, because it takes the audio and the video as they come in, and it actually stitches them together pretty perfectly. So it actually was not an issue with the ATEM switcher. And this is especially a problem if you're using the Television Studio HD, and that's what led me to understand, ah, this is an issue with my cameras. So most cameras, especially if you're using a DSLR, what they do is they actually take and delay because it has some processing time that's needed, and there is a delay of about five frames, at least on my cameras, for that audio leaving before it ends up in that HDMI cable and gets to the ATEM switcher. But this presented a real problem for me. So if we go back and look, I'll show you really quick what my original setup was. So my original setup here was I had a mixer and I was going into the ATEM. And so, and there's a whole video I have on this setup. If you're interested in learning more, I'll include a link in the show notes. But what I ended up doing was I ended up solving this problem by putting a delay in the signal chain. Now, depending on what you wanna do, there could be a lot of different ways to solve it. Gary Cruz actually turned me on initially to a way to solve it on his channel. I'll put a link to that also in the show notes. But you know what? It just ended up being his approach was something that, that to me didn't work for me because I wanted to put something in my rack that solved this so that I could just pick up and take this rack wherever I needed to go and know that when I plug in audio, it is just going to work the way I need it to. So with that, I chose this Rain AD22S. Now I'll show a picture of it here in the rack, right below my HyperDeck. You can see here that this unit is all about delay and there's a video mode. That's the mode that's currently selected. And I'll zoom in even more. You can see here that I have a delay set as, as for five frames at 29.97. And so this literally just delays the audio by that amount of time and then takes the output of that into the ATEM switcher. So this works perfectly for me. Now you might be looking at this and you might be saying, well, David, there's another way to solve this problem that wouldn't require you going out and purchasing a new $500 piece of gear. And I actually got mine for several hundred dollars off by just going to eBay and finding a used one. And I agree with you. And that would be to take the audio through your cameras. And then you could use the camera audio input on the ATEM switcher. That sounds great, right? Here's the problem. I used my GH4, I grabbed the audio through the camera and the noise floor was horrible. So much so I thought, oh no, one of my cameras has bad audio, right? There's something wrong with the audio circuitry in this one. Let me try my other one. And the other one was just as bad. So here's what I'll say. If your camera has good, has a very low noise floor, you can run your audio through it and it sounds great, do that because then you don't have to configure this delay. Your camera will stitch the audio and video together. However, if that's not the case for you, you might have to also look at another option like I did. Now we need to talk about an important caveat here because if you don't get this, this is gonna cause you a problem. If you are using HDMI cameras and you have to deal with this delay, you probably can't mix in other kinds of cameras with different delays without then having to figure out how to add a video delay into the mix. Right, so if you're like me and you're using, in this case, GH4s that have an HDMI output into the ATEM switcher, then you're gonna wanna just use other GH4s that have similar delays or else you're gonna have other problems that you have to solve. So if you're in the same boat, look at units like the Rain 8022S or you can look at Gary Cruz's video and go take a look at how he solved it, but that's your issue. It's not your ATEM switcher, it's your cameras. So thanks for joining us today here on One Man Video.